What's up guys, if you're new to the channel, my name's Sean, I'm a full-time clothing eBay reseller, and today I wanna to talk to you guys about a little bit of product research. Now what I mean by product research is whenever I actually go into eBay solds and I start looking for the profitable items that sell. I sell a ton of men's clothing, I sell some nice stuff, I sell a lot of mid-tier stuff, and I actually sell some bad stuff, but the key word and all that is sell. I don't sit on many items and I get it moving through the store, a little bit of profit, a lot of times, a lot of money, it's enough to survive off of. So let me show you how I go through the brands on eBay so you guys can do the same at home. All right, the brand we're gonna go over today is Polo Ralph Lauren. Now I get a ton of questions about Polo Ralph Lauren, so let's just get straight into this. So we'll do Polo Ralph Lauren in the first search bar for eBay and 520,000 plus, so over half a million items of Polo Ralph Lauren are listed, and we're always gonna put used on the end of this. There's other ways to filter this, but this is just the way that I do it. So in the used category, still 460,000. Now, we are a men's clothing seller, so we're gonna put men's here and see what it knocks it down to. 370,000 plus Polo Ralph Lauren mints. So now that we have a bit of a foundation set, we need to figure out what category we're gonna sell for. So I'm gonna go for the one that I'm actually one of the top sellers for on eBay, not like number one, but definitely in the top 50, maybe top 25 at this point. We're gonna go long sleeve button shirts. Now, this is gonna get hopefully all the long sleeve button shirts for Ralph Lauren. Now it does show this wool button uh, blazer, but Sometimes the search does this because, you know, maybe they put it in correctly whenever they put their listing. 57 plus thousand. We can, we can start to see, look, okay, now let me just show you this. So on this first search, there is a blazer, one, which this is not the best photos, two, three, and then look down here, one, two, three. These are my listings. This one here, four, five, six. These are all my listings on the very first page for a generic search. You can see Taylor Exchange, Taylor Exchange, Taylor Exchange. This is why I was saying <laughs> it's pretty It's pretty funny to see this. There's some more of my shirts. And you wonder why I'm selling so many of them. Well, one, it's because I have a lot of them. And look at the prices. They're pretty competitively priced. Even this one's mine. So yeah, my you know category is crushing on eBay. So let's figure out like how that's the case. First off, let's just do the search here, 57 plus thousand, and we're gonna go to advance and see how many have actually sold to see if this is even a good category to be in. And I can tell you it's a slow moving category. 20 plus thousand, so 57,000 and then 20,000. Let's do easy numbers. If it was 40,000 listed, 20,000 sold, that would be a 50% sell through. At 57 and 20, it's it's less than 50%. I don't know the exact math, probably like 35%. And let's just go to the highest because we wanna figure out what the highest selling Ralph Lauren button shirts are. Now, this is incredible. I've not searched this in a while, but this is a, a long sleeve, um, it's like a rugby polo kind of. It says Fox Canyon Rapids, but it has the buttons here on the cuffs. So very unique kind of item here. This ski jacket's incredible. This all over print horses. If you guys see this kind of uh, horse print on a shirt, like just pick it up. I mean, it's kind of hard not to pick up. There's a duck hunting one, uh, some Olympic rings one. These are incredible. So these are once in a lifetime type pickups at a thrift store. You're probably not even gonna find a lot of these at the thrift store. You're probably gonna find them in like private picks. This is incredible too. You're gonna find these like out of somebody's house most likely. It would be very rare. This one you could maybe come across, but most of these you're not gonna come across. There's somebody with a lot of 14 for $195. That's a pretty good um, picture right there. I actually like that a lot. Okay, so realistically, we're not gonna find any of these uh, most likely. So we're going to filter it a little more advanced. So we want to say max price. I would say if you're looking for that type of stuff, you would put the minimum price you would want to see is like 30 up. So let's go like 30 because we don't want to see anything less than $30. And we're going to search. Okay. So we're still, <laughs> we're still into the high stuff. Let's, let's go a little bit different. And I say this because I don't sell many Ralph Lauren's over a hundred dollars. So let's do between 30 and a hundred because that's a realistic shot of items that'll be donated. So we're at 40, 4,200. And that is the sold listings. Well, let's just see how many are listed in that range because these are numbers. I, I know I'm going a little fast, but these are numbers you kind of have to consider. So 10,000 and then there's 5,200. So that gets you to 50% sell through rate. And we are going to go back to solds. A little out of order. I usually go with the non solds to the solds, but let's just see what we got. And then we're going to price sort high to low is what we have. And that's what we're at. So lots. I know there's a way to eliminate lots and somebody said to put minus lot, but I've tried that before and it didn't work. Let's kind of just scroll on down and see. 
Okay, all over print, a couple denim shirts from the 80s, another um, chambray. This one's incredible looking. So is this patchwork, it looks great. Okay, so let's kind of keep scrolling down. It's still a lot of these you're not gonna come across. Now this purple label, I've come across once in my years of thrifting and still a lot of lots. So I wonder if there is a way we can do this. I wish I like already had this information prepped. Mm, number of items, multiple items from, okay, max quantity. Maybe we could do one and see what comes up with that. Maybe it'll get rid of the lots if we just do max quantity one. No, it definitely did not. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna go, we can just take this off. Local pickup. I mean, there's all these other ones you can do like where you're located. You can do within the United States, worldwide. Listed as lots, show. Okay, well, there's that. Let's go back. I'm gonna go like this. Let's go 50 bucks. Cause I think this is like the range a lot of people are gonna be in. Okay, so most of these top end 50 bucks. Let's keep scrolling down, see what we can find. Okay, right off the bat, this is kind of what I expect. What I expected, linen stuff. So these are from the United Kingdom. Now the United Kingdom kind of throws me off because the shipping price will sometimes like I think affect the search. So I'm gonna go North America. Actually, let's go US only, because we're in the United States. And a lot of people get most of their sales in the United States. So 2,800 sold, and let's just scroll on down. Here's this indigo one with the chambray. My wife's calling during the video. So we're gonna pause the video and answer this. Okay, my wife needed her oil change on her car, so I went ahead and uh, wrote that down to call and get that scheduled. So we are still going through this. Okay, so we saw the indigo. Um, chambray denim stuff that's a pretty easy pickup this 90 blakes cream corduroy so corduroy is also another one that you can find pretty easy on the rack a lot of these rugby polos are selling well this is cashmere so any type like a military type stuff um, any of the like materials wool linen cashmere anything fancy like that if it's not just cotton polyester you know rayon some of that stuff like some of the better ones can go for more this one right here has got an interesting photo layout. It's almost like you get everything in the first shot, so that's kind of nice. Seems like a lot of work though. Here's a thermal lined flannel. So definitely Ralph Lauren flannels, denim, chambrays, uh, the different materials. Pearl snaps, if you see a polo Ralph Lauren and pearl snap, that's gonna be one of the higher end ones. This is an ombre linen as well. So I found one of these in like pink and blue. I've not found that green one yet. Uh, I've definitely found some of these, the big pony stuff. You want to have that in the keywords. You can see this person did a pretty good title. He did, uh, oh, this is a zip jacket. Okay. Still coming up in our search though. Here's a 4XLT. So pretty good here with the Ralph Lawrence. Now let's get a little bit tighter with the, with the margins. And I say that because a lot of my uh, average sale price is like $23. So let's kind of like, uh, let's just change it up here. Let's do 15, or let's do six, $18 to uh, all over the place here to 25. Let's do something like that. And now we're expecting to pay $4 for this shirt. We're not trying to pay seven, not trying to pay 10. We're trying to pay four or less. So see how there's 6,100 in this one. And then we're going to take, let's just take sold and completeds out just to see. So we're at 6,100. Okay. So 30% sell through in this price range. Now that's important because you know that could take nine months to sell this shirt because this is a 90 day sales history. So here we go. This blue gingham plaid, um, they put check here. I'm not sure if it's check or gingham plaid, but I can tell you that is a very iconic look. And for some reason, the shipping's high. I wonder why that's the case. But let's keep scrolling down. Anything with elbow patches is gonna be good. And these prices are still over. So it's 25 and it has the shipping here too. So maybe I need to do one more edit here. So this is the item priced. Um, is there like an include shipping button, free returns? Sort by high plus shipping. So yeah, maybe it's gonna be a little uh, skewed because of that shipping. Let's continue on though. We wanna get to the page where we start seeing a lot of the stuff that I've been selling, which will be a little difficult with the way this is. But yeah, so these linen silk blends, we've already been talking about that. French cuff, French cuff isn't always great. 2XLT, we're probably gonna start seeing a lot of the bigger sizes. This one here is a pretty tremendous print. I see this all the time and it's it's one of my favorite looking ones, 3XL. See how you see all these tall sizes? So. Let's kind of switch up this search a little bit and let's just go uh, tall, see what comes up when we put tall. So 263, so that really narrowed it down. 
And then let's see how many are listed at the tall size. 264 or 263. So 100% sell through. And this is a picture of a guy. <laughs> this guy's just wearing his shirt. He said, I'm going to model this. We don't need to be on Poshmark to model clothes. We can do it on eBay. So let's take a look. What are we seeing here? A lot of solid colors, a lot of 3XLTs, 2XLTs, the rugby stuff. And these photos aren't even that great. Like, look at this one. It's just on someone's door hanger. This one here is looking pretty good. It's got the nice background with the wooden hanger. Yeah, these are uh, looking pretty solid. So these you could probably pay like eight bucks for. If it was like $7.99, I'd be okay pay paying for a, a 2XLT or 3XLT or big size. And yeah, this one right here just has uh, the flesh pony on the front. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, so pretty good. Track pads fail. Me so yeah, big tall sizes. So we kind of went over all that stuff. Let's see like just a standard like size large. And I just put L for large, so 1800 in the large size. Still a lot of rugby stuff. I feel like we're still high on the search. And I say this because I run really tight margins, so I want to put, let's put like 50, no, let's put like 20 bucks. 20 bucks minimum price, we'll put 10. So 2200, and it definitely narrowed down some, but here's more of the range that I was trying to get to. So. These are still flannel. Like this one right here is actually a really popular print. This is like the green and blue, like the dark ones. I think it's called Tartan, Tartan. Uh, I, I like to call it just like uh, forest green with blue. I don't put that in the title, but that's just what I like identify it in my brain. So a lot of these here still in the big sizes. For some reason, when you do large, it doesn't always like, it doesn't always like figure it out in the search. So you kind of got to be a little bit more uh, large A. Let's see. Large. So yeah, it's it still doesn't ah, pick it up like a hundred percent. But right here, this nineteen ninety nine plus the eight dollar shipping, that is a pretty good starting point for a lot of these polos. That gets you like close to thirty bucks, and you can um, make some pretty good money around there. And notice how like a lot of these photos of these Ralph Lauren's that are selling are inexperienced sellers. And I say that because they're not huge stores. This guy's actually got a lot of uh, feedback, but it's just like on the door and that kind of goes to show like people want this Ralph Lauren stuff even if it's not uh, displayed properly. Uh, this one's like pretty nice. You can tell it's the same uh, seller right here. And yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at with this one. So a lot of the rugby stuff, for some reason the search is just like, it's a little scattered. And I don't do a lot of Polo Ralph Lauren because uh, like product search like I do in this video just just because I've sold so much of it I kind of know what to look for but I like to buy a lot of the plaids I think the plaids are a pretty classic look and it took the size off so that's okay we're gonna keep looking and you'll start seeing like certain pad colors that you'll see all the time anything with like this like uh, suede type patching on it is gonna be a pickup for the most part there's this one here Taylor Exchange it's one of mine 2XLs. Here's another one, 1999 plus uh, shipping. So yeah, this is, uh, look at this one. <laughs> they didn't even button it up and they still sold it. So it's pretty wild. I've always tried to like figure out how to narrow down how many photos I need for these. Uh, I was taking about nine and I think I'm going to drop it down to seven because I just don't think photos are like all that necessary. I think a lot of it has to do with price. Now see how this person keeps identifying this, and the reason they're doing that is because this one with the actual uh, human looking guy, not like full color pony, that one actually sells better. See this is the full color in blue. The one with like the skin is a, is a little bit better. So yeah, here's one here, took an offer, and this one's pretty great. I actually own one that's similar to this one. I call it like the Sherbert color. Uh, it's got more colors than that one. But yeah, look at it. People just kind of throw these up. There's no like ironing in these. A lot of people aren't washing these. I don't wash it unless it stinks. I pretty much just uh, look at this one. I don't even know what's going on with this one. Now let's see if the plaids have a stronger sell through than striped because stripes another one that's pretty uh, common to see and I don't think it sells as well as the plaid. So 2200 with 8,000 inch. So that's a 25% sell through rate on the plaid long sleeve button shirts. And here's the stripe. So like, if you're trying to make quick cash, ooh, US only, okay. So this is uh, all that's listed, 6,400. So there's less listed. Let's see if the solds are less. Most likely will be around that 25%. So yeah. So it's it's a bit slow, but um, it still sells. And a lot of these are the rugby ones. So you don't necessarily want to be um, 
confusing your numbers. Like the sell-through rate is less than that because a lot of these are not long sleeve button shirts, which you can find the rugby ones, but they'll be in the other like uh, long sleeve category of the thrift store. They're not going to be with the button ups a lot of the time. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, see how they're just like doing the close up right here? Because this is a desirable uh, pony for some reason. Wow, look at this one. That's super cool. I like the color blocking. I like that old style. Not to wear. I just like, I mean, I like seeing it because I know uh, it sells well. But that's, uh, that's pretty good on there. So let's, let's shift over to uh, polo shirts. So we're going to go to short sleeve polo shirts and see how that search looks. Short sleeve polo shirts men's. And these are the sold. So we have 2,000 or 24,000 short sleeve polos sold. Let's just do like a high to low. Okay, so this has our, um, I forgot it has like our money amount. So we want to switch this. Let's just see what the most expensive one is. I bet you it's pretty high. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this shirt. Look at this. 1992 tennis. Holy cannoli. Like, I mean, this is insane. These are insane prices. And and you would have to buy that shirt, like, if you saw it. Look at this. Look at this thing. But you see how it drops off pretty steady. Like, I mean, these are still expensive polos, but as far as, like, it's not like band tees, right? Like, these are, um, they're not as expensive. It kind of drops down to reality. Amsterdam, like this one. Uh, oh, look at that one with the koi fish. That one's pretty cool. So pretty tremendous Ralph Lauren polos here. And let's kind of go back down to where we're at. So we're going to go back to this filter. Let's do minimum price 20 and let's do max price like 30. Just see how that is. <laughs> so 13,000. See, this one's a button down. Uh, let's see. A lot of lots here. A lot of lots. See how this one here. So that's 30 plus this uh, tremendous amount of shipping, which is pretty insane. It's the same seller. They're out of Maryland. And see how they're just folding. Let's look at their photos here. I'm curious. Oh, wow. They only have three photos. So they do do the full shot and this shot and then this. And they sold this for a ton of money. It is nice. It is like that yellow is one of the um, mid-tier tags. Mid-tier meaning like age-wise. Like it's not the white-lettered one, but it's not the one with the QR code next to that small tag off to the side. That's a crazy amount. They did put soft cotton because some of these are like more uh, knitted. I don't know if knit's the right word, but... Uh, some of them have like grids. This one's more smooth and you can see the photo barely even see how it's like wavy in the photo That's fine But like you can tell this one's one of the soft ones and I don't put soft in them in mind because there are soft uh, Touch Pima cotton ones that they identify so see how this one has the little uh, tag on the side So maybe it is under here, but it's nice to show off this tag because this tag is one of their newer lines They didn't have these QR codes in like the 2000s you see that one there and it's the flesh pony one so i wonder if they had uh the same buyer buy both of these because they're both the same size that's really common with ralph lauren and like brooks brothers and some of those dressier shirts is you'll find people that just buy like all of the um like their size to fill out their wardrobe their work week uniform so to speak so yeah a lot of lots here a lot of these like crazy all over prints anytime you see an all over print uh polo you need to kind of check it out and see if it's worth it most of the time it's going to be worth it and most of the time you'll probably have to pay like 10 bucks here's the japan rugby one that one's pretty crazy any of the big pony stuff is going to be a seller any of the rugby stuff is pretty much a seller and one of the ways to identify the rugby is the collar if you look at the collar like not the outside collar but like right here where the buttons are you'll see that it's thicker see how it's like thicker stitched right there let's see if they got a close-up of it no they didn't get a close-up yeah right there so you can see the thickness it's, it's just, um, that's what kind of makes it a, rug, a rugby one in my eyes. Scrolling down. So a lot of these lots, maybe it would be good to buy these in lots, but I mean, I'm spending pretty much $3 to $4 a piece. So that'd be 12 bucks for uh, $40. That's not like a bad flip, but I think it's more work uh, packing it together, photoing it together than just to do individuals. Scrolling down, let's go to like page four and just see where we're at. I want to see like more realistic sales. Here's mine right here. See, I got the big pony and it's wrinkled and stuff. It's a 2XLT, 28.49. I took an offer. Same here. It's in my sale as well. Pretty good job, Sean. <laughs> yeah, this stuff, it's it's great. I've sold this one a couple times. I always put red, white, and blue. Uh, I should have put diagonal. That's probably a good one to put in there. And yeah, um, certain colors do a little bit better. A lot of these still are the big sizes though. So 
I wonder what colors would be best. Probably like, I think black's one of the better ones. Let's just kind of take a look at black. Okay, so 1100, and these are same in that price range. 4800, but see, and when you do that, it kind of incorporates the stuff that's not solid black. So sometimes I do write solid, see if it changes it any. 3000, and you still have these button ups. So this is a Dubai one, that would go for a lot of money. Dubai super popular wealthy area look at this yeah this dubai one is crazy huh las vegas wow i've never even seen some of these there's the polo bear this one's always a pretty good sign if you see polo bear on stuff what is this black watch polo team i wonder if that's like an actual it's probably like an actual polo team like people do play that sport right look at this skull and crossbones wow that's cool anyway this one i don't know what they call this one. Oh, triple pony okay so triple pony is one that i've seen a couple times it'll sell well if it's even like a faded shirt or like not that uh new looking this is crazy hmm does that even have a pony no it's just like no pony just skull crazy so yeah that's kind of why i filter the price just because you're not gonna find a lot of these and if you did find it you would pick it up it'd be very um It'd be very green of you just to like not pick it up. So let's just see $20. Is there a lot in the $20 range? Not so much, not so much. But yeah, here we go. So this is more of, of what it is, 19 plus the shipping, even like 16 plus shipping, like that $25 all in mark is kind of where you're gonna be for a lot of these like, uh, just like singular solid color polos with the pony. So I hope that breakdown kind of showed you like a little bit of the power of like searching through comps on eBay so that you can find some of these good items. I just wanted to kind of share with you guys um, some of the things that I do whenever I'm like refreshing brands or trying to find new brands or pockets of profit in other brands. This wasn't like the greatest breakdown, but you guys kind of got the gist of it. Let me know different brands you want me to kind of do like a deeper dive into or ones that you're just curious to see if there's any profit out there. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.